right, hi Virgo the God, welcome back to my channel. All right, this is actually going to be a reading for December 2020. All right, a your fate reading, all right, um, because of a unanimous decision that you guys made. I posed this question a few weeks ago. All right, so I have several messages for you, Virgo. We have several cards here. We're gonna get a lot of energy, all right? So first, um, the first clear audience message that I have for you, and these messages may or may not come out in the next 48 readings that we will continue to do, all right? But the first message I have for you is thinking about you, all right? So Virgo, I feel like you are um, increasingly thinking about someone. I feel like each and every day, especially during the month of December, that uh, that those thoughts are going to intensify every single day. You're going to find yourself thinking about someone at random times all the time until it almost gets to the point where you will do anything to kill the thought or you will do anything to get somebody off of your mind. All right. So I'm also getting to you're going to be drinking a lot heavily in the month of December, not just because of the holiday, because of this person that you just can't seem to get off your mind. I'm getting Virgo, you have never thought about someone that, like you're about to think about this person, okay? Um, I'm also getting too, you're going to hear their voice, their thoughts in your head over the course of the month. I'm also getting as well, this may sound really crazy to you, Virgo, but I feel like you are, you are going to lose your urge to smoke, all right? So if you smoke ganja, if you're a chronic smoker, I feel like during the month of December, you just wake up with one day, you don't want to smoke anymore. You're, you're starting to lose your urge to smoke weed or you're starting to lose your urge to get high in that way. All right. So be careful if you're, you know, if you're, uh, if you, if you indulge in drugs, all right, I feel like weed is something that is not doing it for you anymore. All right. I'm also getting to during the month of December, you are going to hear your guides loud and clear. I'm also getting to, this is another reason why. You're going to have the urge to stop smoking. Your intuition is about to be magnified on some crazy shit. All right. I feel like, I feel like weed clouds your judgment a little bit or it plays on your, it plays on your anxiety. All right. I feel like weed makes you a little bit paranoid, Bird. I'm also getting to you maybe smoking bad shit. All right. So I'm getting, I'm getting like this month you may, uh, you may start vaping or you may start eating, you know, eating ganja or something like that. All right. But I, your overall message is thinking about you. Okay. Trying to see what else I can pull out here. All right. So those are the messages I got for you, Virg. If I get anything else during the reading, I will pull it out. So we're going to look at the first 10 days of December for you. The first 10 days of December. All right. Let's see what's going on, what's happening for you. Okay, so the first 10 days of December. Okay, so wow. All right, beautiful, Virg. Like I said, I feel like you're, you're drinking and um, you're going to start drinking a lot more, indulging yourself a lot more. I feel like you're trying to kill the thought of this person or you're trying to kill some type of thoughts that are in your head. All right, reoccurring thoughts. Okay, but the first 10 days, nine of cups. All right, beautiful energy, the moon card. There's that energy again, Virg. I'm, I'm really, I really feel like I cannot stress the thoughts, the thinking enough. All right, so I'm getting prepare yourself now. Make sure you have a way to cope and deal with these thoughts. I do feel like the thoughts are romantic, sexual in nature, but I, I feel like I feel like at, at some point it's going to become daunting or haunting or tormenting to you. All right, we have the nine of cups, though, but right here at the beginning of the month, you're getting what you want. Okay, you're getting your uh, your sad. You seem to be very satisfied, very pleased with something. All right, we have the ace of swords, yeah, because you're doing something new. You're starting something new. Something. I feel like there's a new job, a new application, or I feel like you are new. You're doing something new. You have some type of newfound clarity. All right, we have the page of swords, and then we have the cherry. I'm getting, okay, so the first 10 days in December, you're going to get some news about a vehicle. Okay, you're going to get some news about somebody coming towards you in the vehicle, driving to you, visiting, something of that nature. All right, so someone's going to call you. There's going to be a conversation, very brief conversation with an air sign. All right, and then, okay, the six of cups is going to be, it's somebody from your past. It could be an ex. All right, it doesn't have to be an ex. It could be an old friend. I'm also getting two. It could be a sibling or a sibling or your cousin. So I'm getting during the first 10 days, you're kind of on the phone with this person talking to them about something, either about a vehicle or about them driving to you. All right, what's the ace of swords, please? All right, so I feel like you're talking to this air sign an awful lot. All right. At least um, in the first uh, 10 days, I feel like, too, you're thinking about this person, especially when you are drunk. You think about this person a lot. What's the Ace of Swords, please? 
I'm also getting two, you're, you're gonna hear some bad news about a child, Virgo, somebody has a child already or somebody is pregnant, they are expecting a child, okay? The ace, the eight of swords, all right. Yeah, so something is reoccurring, but you're happy about it. What is, what's reoccurring here? Okay, the high priestess, yeah, we talked about your intuition is going to be heightened during the month of December, very much so. All right, so I, I feel like when you don't drink, when you don't smoke, you're going to realize that you have a lot of voices in your head. Those are your guides. All right, what's okay? So I'm getting like, so don't be frightened, Virgo. All right, don't drive yourself crazy. I'm getting, make sure you get a lot of fresh air, take a lot of walks, drink a lot of water. All right, listen to a lot of good music, Sade, jazz, the soft shit, okay? Nothing hardcore, because I feel like it only increases your paranoia or your anxiety. All right, let's see. But I'm getting your intuition. If something's trying to come to the forefront or something's trying to come to the surface that is lying dormant in you, all right? Okay, yeah, we have the hangman. I feel like it's enlightenment. I feel like you're, you're about to go through a second, not dark night, but you're about to go, you're about to have a breakthrough, another one. Okay, we have the will of fortune. Yeah, it's, it is the season. Okay, so I'm getting like every, every so often you have these breakthroughs or you become extremely enlightened about something. I'm getting, I'm getting December is that time. You're going to become extremely enlightened about something about you, about your intuition. All right, what's the page of swords? Now, this is just the first 10 days. What's the, what's the page of swords, please? I'm also getting to, you're going to be, uh, you're going to become increasingly interested in something, watching something. This could be another scholar. This could be a teacher or a lecturer that you are going to start watching. I'm also getting two reading. Yeah, the two of wands, and then we have the queen of cups. All right. So here's what I'm getting. I'm also getting two. I see you taking what you're, I see you taking those downloads and deciding to do something with them. I'm getting something about like, I'm getting something about singing or the performing arts. I'm also getting two art. I see you actually painting bird, purchasing an easel and getting back, getting back into painting. So I'm getting like, you're going to go back to doing something that you used to do when you were a child to cope with your paranoia or your anxiety or something that you used to do in the past that really helped you cope. Because I feel like you're reminiscing or you're going to remember something. You're going to remember why or you're going to remember something very significant. I feel like that small detail is going to cause a breakthrough. Okay, what's the six of cups? Now, I'm getting this. It could be about your child your, or your childhood or about this person. Somebody could, this person that, that you're speaking to, this air sign, I feel like they may even say something. All right. And it kind of sparks an idea or you kind of pick something up in the conversation like, oh, wow. All right, Six of Cups, please, for Virgo. All right, the Hermit card, there you are. Yeah, I feel like the first 10 days of December, you are really in deep thought. Are right, you thinking about a lot? I feel like mostly about your past or mostly about your child or you when you were a kid. Okay, something is coming back up. Something significant, Nine of Cups. I'm also getting two. You're going to discover that you are a genius, like for real. The Nine of Cups is a genius, a scholar. All right, so I feel like you're, I feel like you're pretty much on easy street the first 10 days. All right, you need, to, you need to get a handle on your intuition, on your thoughts. Okay, what's the nine of cups on my card here? All right, the ten of pentacles. Like, so you're happy because you're getting a lot of money, okay? So I'm getting there's no shortage of, there's no shortage of money, okay? But I feel like you're not going to be spending your money on the same things. I feel like I'm getting a lot more alcohol, of course, yes. I'm also getting, two the first ten days of December, uh, very lucrative, okay? Whatever you're doing for work is very lucrative. I see you making $1,000 or more a day or $1,000 per week. A lot of small increments adding up to $1,000 or more, all right? So you're very pleased with that, okay? So I'm getting business is booming, a good week for sales, will of fortune. And then we have the, wow, ace of pentacles, okay? A lot of, first of all, a lot of opportunity coming to you in the first week of December, money-wise, Okay, a big opportunity here. I feel like one opportunity begets another one because one, when you have money, it's always easy to make more. It's always easy to attract more when you already have it. So I feel like you are realizing that, Virgo. When you don't have, you attract lack. When you do have, you attract more, all right? So I feel like, I feel like money is rolling in. We have the seven of swords uh, ending your first 10 days, okay? So I feel like, I don't feel like you're scheming, but I feel like you are strategizing on what to do with your money, how to invest your money better. I feel like you're thinking about your you're thinking about your future and your past. Okay, I feel like you're also thinking about your childhood, childhood money. All right, we didn't have this when I was a kid or whatever. All right, Ace of Pentacles, please. I'm also getting to, you're going to get a piece of the pie. This could be the, this could be a piece of family money or I'm getting like, I'm getting Virgo, you're going to have a body, a body of people. 
It's like you have your own, uh, you have your own little small organization or your own corporation with, with uh, inside of another corporation. Okay, so it's how you're getting a piece of the pie here. Okay, or you're getting a piece of the share. What's the Ace of Pentacles? But I feel like something is being shared with you exclusively. All right, what's the Ace of Pentacles, please? The Six of Swords, wow. I'm also getting to you're buying a vehicle. The first 10 days of December, you're, I feel like you're buying a vehicle. I see. I also see you traveling an awful lot, okay, running errands, like buying a lot of things. I feel, like, I feel like you're buying a lot of items for your vehicle. You're buying a lot of items for your home to furnish your home, pillows, sheets, shit like that. We have the Strength card. All right, so let's see the, the second 10 days. So the first 10 days look pretty uneventful, all right? Don't forget those uh, reoccurring thoughts. All right, let's see the second 10 days for Virgo. I'm going to take a little swig here. All right, just and just, be, just so we don't abuse these cards too much because we start getting weird messages, we're going to switch decks. All right, real quick. All right, let's see. Okay, let's show me the second 10 days of December for Virgo the God, please. Okay, the first, the second 10 days of December for Virgo the God, please. Okay, the Ace of Swords, there's, there's those thoughts again. The Ace of Swords is coming out again. We have the Temperance card. Okay, so it looks like the second 10 days of December, you are learning how to cope with this. You're learning how to deal with this better. All right, I feel like you're learning how to work around your thoughts, all right? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. I'm also getting two. There's that vape pen I talked about, that vaporizer that you're buying. I feel like you're vaping, okay? Good, good for you. Eight of Pentacles, there you are. Okay, smoking a lot at work. I'm getting work, working and smoking, all right? This is that Six of Cups that we saw in the uh, first 10 days in the Eight of Swords. Those, those, those are those thoughts again, okay? So I feel like you're, you're working uh, uh, during the second 10 days of December. You're, you're focused more on your work, okay? Your craft, whatever you're building. I'm also getting two. This is a way for you to alleviate those thoughts, okay? You have to deal with those thoughts, Virgo. You have to deal with those thoughts without intoxicants, okay? Just deal with them. Embrace them, all right? Because I, I feel like the second 10 days of December, you're kind of drowning yourself in work to, you know, escape, the, escape that thinking. Eight of swords, please. But I feel like you're going to work, okay? Whatever, whatever, whatever happened in the first ten, during the first ten days, that Ace of Swords, that new job or that new endeavor, that new idea, that new thought, that new concept, you are working on it. On the, you're working on this. Uh, looks like tirelessly in the second ten days, you're building up on this. Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting okay. So you're going. It looks like you're racking your brain. You're going over something. You're going over uh, this idea, this new concept, or this new endeavor over and over again, trying to try, trying to improve upon it, trying to perfect it, trying to make it better. So I feel like that's where your focus is on your work. All right, you're trying to change. It look. It looks like. Um, it looks like you're trying to do something different than you did it in the past. You want to change something or you want to put a new spin on something old. All right, what's the Ace of Wands? Okay, so we have the we have the Four of Cups, Seven of Wands, and then we have, all right, there's too many cards there. Okay. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. There's that Ten of Pentacles again. All right, you are, you are really doing well at work. There's that Wheel of Fortune again, too. All right. So I'm getting, I'm getting the second week of December. You may feel a little bit stuck or obligated. All right, because it looks like the first 10 days you're happy, you're pleased about this new thing. You know, you're making money, but I feel like that shit gets old real quick. Like the second 10 days, that shit old already. Like the money is old, the fulfillment is old, the satisfaction is old. Like I feel like something becomes second nature real quick. Okay, that so I'm getting, I'm getting um. I'm getting like right away, almost immediately, you start to you start to kind of feel like you're over something already. I feel like I'm getting it has to do with the money. I feel like I feel like money is coming in in large quantities. You don't really know what to do with it, or it's just sitting there, or you're not really, it's not really enough, it's not enough to motivate you. Yeah, we have the eight of cups. So I see you walking away from something, Bird. All right, so it only it only lasts about 10 days or 20 days before you walk away. I feel like something's not worth the money. All right, what's the six of cups? Or somebody's only willing to give you a certain amount, all right? Because I, I feel like I feel like you're working extra hard, but something doesn't seem to be growing or progressing, all right? And that's very discouraging for you. What's the Six of Cups? 
What is the Six of Cups, please? Okay, the Fool card. Yeah, you need to let go of the past. Or you need to let go of some type of saveness that you're doing. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles. All right. I'm also getting two. You're, it's almost like, okay, I'm not, I don't see that you're employing someone, but it's almost like you're going to let somebody else have it. Like, man, you, you got that or you can have that or, you know, you can take that. I feel like you, somebody's going to, someone's going to lose passion for something. All right, what's the Eight of Pentacles, please? I'm also getting two. If you have a child, I feel like somebody forgets to pick your child up at school. Or somebody forgets to pick the child up at the grandmother's house. I feel like somebody forgets about a childhood because, because they're at work. All right, so I feel like it is you, Virg. I feel like, okay, what's the eight of pentacles? Or something is occurring while you, at, while, while you are at work regarding a child here. Okay, six of pent okay eight, of, eight of pentacles, three of wands, and then we have the five of wands. Yes, yeah, someone's going to reach out to you while you're at work the second 10 days to tell you something about a kid, about the past, about this money. What's the, what's the five of wands? All right. I'm also getting two. Your, your, uh, you know, your perspective career field or your perspective profession is going to become increasingly uh, competitive. All right. Something's going to get really competitive the second 10 days of November. I feel like I feel like you are the cause of the competition, Virgo, because of your 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 intense. Uh, you are intensely focused on something. Or your concentration cannot be broken. I feel like somebody's trying to get your attention. Yeah, we have we have the page of wands and then we have the page of pentacles. All right, so you're you're hearing about this while you're at work, or something is going on while you at work, while you are at work. I'm also getting to there's gonna be somewhat of an uproar, or there's gonna be some pushback because you're getting something, you're being congratulated or rewarded for something at your job. I feel like you're being revered, or you're being you're actually getting a reward for something something that you're doing at work. All right, so I feel like a lot of people are gonna, a lot of people are not going to like that. The fact that you're being rewarded or you're getting this good news. I'm getting, there's gonna be a lot of people against what you're doing or against you kind of getting something or doing something. All right, let's see. Okay, but nine of cups shows up again. Okay, so something turns out in your favor the second 10 days. I'm getting it's gonna be a little bit rough. All right, shit gets a little bit rough. The second 10 days at your job, something becomes really competitive, overwhelming. I feel like it's a whole bunch of bullshit going on that you have to kind of deal with. Bad feedback, bad press, uh, bad reviews, disputes even. I feel like people are asking for their money back or something like that. People are arguing with, arguing with you about fees or something of that nature. All right, but it looks like, it, it's almost like, now this could be somebody else, a fire sign that is having a hard time at work. I feel like that person is sending people to you and it's 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 a uh, it's allowing you to develop your clientele your clientele base or um, it's allowing you to develop your business. Okay, six of pentacles. Yeah, you're being heavily patronized. Okay, because I, I kind of feel like people are very unhappy with this fire sign. And they're coming to you complaining about it. I'm, the fire sign is not doing this or not doing that. Please do something, Virgo. Please fire them or get rid of them or something like that. So you may have to get rid of someone or. All right, but I feel like you're being heavily patronized because somebody walked off the job or somebody just left. All right, kind of, you know, I feel like you're the, you're the only one available here or you're the only one that's doing something. All right, what's the Ace of Swords? So I feel like, you're, I feel like the second 10 days of December is going to be really busy for you, Virg. All right, I feel like you, I feel like uh, I'm getting honest, accurate. Uh, no, I'm getting... Um, what is it? Child tested, mother approved. So I'm getting like, I'm getting like, I, I'm getting like you approve this message or somebody, you are being like uh, highly sought after. Okay, I'm getting because you're certified to do something or you are the most certified or the most skilled. All right. So you are, I'm getting you are being recommended the most for something. Okay. So something kind of happens by default. All right. Ace of Swords, please. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, the worst part of a situation is over. Okay, so I'm getting, of course, the second 10 days of December, there could be some paperwork that you have to sign, many pages. Okay, I'm getting it's all digital, it's all virtual, all right, but I'm getting you are going to get it done. It looks like it looks like you have to sign this paperwork or you have to get this done before you can start doing something. All right, it looks like you are going to get it done, though. It, it's going to be a pain in your ass, Bird. I feel like you're going to have to 
go through a whole bunch of systems and maybe change passwords and talk to a whole bunch of different people about shit. And okay, what's the okay? Ace of Swords, Ten of Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords. All right, but I feel like something is like open and shut. All right, something you start something and it's a, it's over really quickly, like in the first ten hours. Yeah, the High Priestess. Okay, and we have the Empress card. Okay, ending. So the second ten days is uh, your overall energy is the Empress. All right, so I'm getting you're comfortable, you're making money, you're doing very well at work, you're being highly recommended, highly sought after, patronized. All right, I feel like I'm getting to your uh, your uh, your house is fully furnished. Okay, so you can finally walk away from that task. All right, so I feel like something is complete. So I feel like you are uh, either your home is, is your home is finally furnished, or your offices. You finally have all your office furniture. You have everything that you need to start this business to get this shit going. All right, the Empress card. Okay, so I'm getting it's going to be a little bit rough, but you are going to make it through, and you are going to be very comfortable. All right, I'm getting like living in the lap of luxury. Okay, let's see the second, the third, ten days. Okay. Okay, let's see the third 10 days. I'm going to take a swig, bird. All right, so the second 10 days are good, all right? The Empress card. Okay, let's see the last 10 days for Virgo the God, please. Okay, show me the last 10 days of December for Virgo the God, please. So whatever you're deciding to start in December, it's a good idea, okay? I'm getting it's going to be a little bit of a rough start, but I'm getting it is going to smooth out by the middle of, the middle of December. Just do it, all right? Really good idea, Virg. Okay, let's see. The last 10 days for VTG, the Eight of Swords. Those are those reoccurring thoughts again. Yeah, this person's really on your mind, Virgo, all right? We have the Three of Wands. You're yearning, all right? So I'm getting like the second 10 days. You're doing really well. And then you kind of stop, you slow down, you pause, and here's this, you can't get this person off your mind again, all right? It's the same thing, five of wands, yeah. Really conflicted, queen of pentacles, and then we have the queen of wands, all right? So now, here you are questioning your beauty, questioning your attraction, am I beautiful, am I young enough, okay? Is my skin this, am I thin enough, am I tall enough? So yes, you are, Virgo. I'm getting it has nothing to do with you, all right? So I feel like... I feel like now who you are kind of questioning yourself, kind of kind of questioning your worth. Don't do that. What's the five of wands? All right, because I'm I'm getting I'm getting to the uh, the last ten days. I feel like a lot of people, like I said, people are attacking you a little bit. Bad feedback, bad reviews, and it has you like questioning yourself. All right, what's the five of wands? I'm getting whatever you're doing, Virgo. It's a good idea. I feel like people are upset because you're focused, or like I said, you got that reward, or you're getting something, or you're doing something new. People are upset about it. All right, I'm also getting two people are stuck because they, all right, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that, Bird. I'm also getting two people are angry because they're stuck. I'm getting because you're doing something new. Now, you could be the one walking off the job in the second 10 days and starting your own shit. People are going to be stuck because of that. If you start your own business, who's going to help me? I need Virgo to help me. I need, I need Virgo to help me with my business or I need Virgo's ideas, okay? So I feel like because you're doing something new, you're going to leave several people stuck because they can't copy you or they cannot live off of you, all right? So you don't have to question, you don't have to question this or you don't have to feel guilty or obligated or you don't have to feel conflicted about it. All right, what's the five of wands? Yeah, the emperor card. Shit, man, I'm, I'm getting you about to shut shit down, man. You're the two of wands. You're, gonna, you're making a choice. It's the best choice for you, for your career, for everybody involved here. The, the five of wands is like the public. It's the populist. It's popular opinion. Fuck that. The emperor card is here to say, man, do that shit. The two of wands, make the best, make the best career choice for your career. All right, regardless of what somebody is thinking, what somebody's going to say, what, you know, it doesn't matter what the five of wands wants. You are the emperor card. All right. All right. What's the okay? What's the Queen of Pentacles? All right. So I'm getting you. Don't have to think twice about it. If you want to do it, do it, Virgo. It's, it's your business. You are the boss. You call the shots. You don't have to ask permission or anything. What's the Eight of Swords? If you want to do some shit, do some shit. It's your it's your business. Okay. What's the Ace of Swords? Stop letting employees or stop letting popular opinion um, control you or influence you when you are the head here. Okay. What's the what's the Ace? What is the Eight of Swords? All right, there you go, Virg. Okay, you have the Tower card and the King of Pentacles. All right, yeah, make get your dough. All right, yeah, we have the Justice card. Okay, so I'm gonna the last ten the last ten days of December, you're gonna get justice, karmic justice in your career. All right, I'm getting I'm getting because you you're, you're gonna take a risk, you're gonna do something new, you made a decision, and that's gonna that's gonna turn out really well. The Tower card and the King of Pentacles. 
All right, I'm getting two, a lot of money coming out of this. All right, the King of Pentacles, um, when, we talk, when we talk about money, I'm getting, uh, you know, millionaires, but you're, you're accomplishing something by the, by the end of December, some, you're going to accomplish something huge or you're going to reach a milestone in your career or something that, you have, something that you have been aspiring to do or something that you set out to do in the beginning of the month, maybe even, maybe even during this week, you're going to accomplish that by the end of December. All right, just keep working, keep staying focused. Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about the competition. Don't worry about making everybody happy. Do what's best for your career. And it looks like you, you, you made it a choice to do that and it's paying off at the end. I'm getting, I'm getting, you're going to see something really pay off um, between December 20th and the 30th, okay? Like the last 10 days, here it is, okay? A really big accomplishment that you are making. Uh, also, to the King of Pentacles usually means a, a bonus or an uh, increase in your salary, okay? Influx in your clients, okay? Something is really progressive, all right? But at the end of the month, you feel really established. You feel really good about yourself. You feel really proud of yourself for doing something, for bossing the fuck up, all right? So let's get first. All right, so good. All right, good month for you. All right, I'm getting you have to. I'm getting you have to learn how to deal with assholes this month a lot. There's going to be a lot of assholes around you. All right, people are just unhappy with what you're doing. That's what happens when you have a new idea. People people are opposed to change. All right, but I'm getting I'm getting this during this month. You're gonna you're gonna learn how to deal with like assholes, haters. Okay. But by the end of the month, you are going to have karmic justice here. So keep keeping on. I'm getting, I'm getting it may feel like a perilous journey or a perilous fight during the second 10 days. But just keep doing that shit, bird. Don't let nobody stop you. All right, let's see. A, a cards from the Ancients for the month of December for Virgo. All right. Okay, we have abundance, yes. Very abundant month for you in the month of December, knowledge book. Yeah, because... It looks, I feel like you are harnessing your knowledge. I'm like, like I said, in the first 10 days, something that you learned in the past is something that you already know that you are implementing now and it's going to bring in a lot of money, a lot of accomplishment, okay? So it's, it's gonna be a very abundant month for you. I'm getting it's all monetary. This could also too be friends, people, all right? You're gaining a lot of clientele, followers, things like that, okay? So let's get some health cards. Give me some, give me a wellness card for Virgo the God. All right, for the month of December, please. Give me a wellness card for Virgo, your overall month burning bowl ritual. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting spell work. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting you know what kind of spell work to do or you, you knew what kind of spell work to do in the past. It's paying off now. All right, so I'm getting if you've been doing spell work the entire month of November and nothing has been happening it's about to take off, all right? I'm also getting to you're going to be doing a lot of spell work, burning bowl rituals, all right? Writing things down, burning them up, okay? But I'm, I'm also hearing too, like, harvest. You've already done these rituals, and now you're going to see them pay off. All right, sometimes it takes four weeks. All right, let's get your spell. What spell are you under, Virgo the God? For the month of December, a spell for Virgo, VTG. It says peace. Bridget Goddess, in your sacred name, a, a, a light within me, peace, peace is flame. Don't like the way that's worded, but I'm going to read it again. It says, Bridget Goddess, in your sacred name, a light within me, peace is flame. Yeah, so peace of mind, and then we have inspiration. Yeah, you're getting your inspiration back. If you weren't feeling inspired, if you weren't feeling motivated, if you were feeling stuck, I feel like you're going to, you are going to have those ideas. You are going to, you are going to start progressing more in your career, okay? Something is about to take off like we already talked about. All right, let's pull, let's pull one of these, more energies. So I'm getting you're going to have peace of mind knowing that something is solid, something has been solidified, your career, you're accomplishing something. Knowing that, knowing that you are progressive just feels so damn good to you. Yeah, all right, you're going to see your hard work pay off. And it's almost like you're sitting here at the end of the month kind of just like, man, what a day. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, we have heal and shine. Yeah, so I feel like you're healing in more ways than one, Virgo. All right, let's pull a crystal card for you, please. I'm also getting to, you're going to learn how to shut people up without even talking to them. All right, or you're going to learn how to shut people up in a very uh, professional way, like, you know, 
All right, let's get a crystal card for you for the month. This crystal you can get before December, all right, to aid you in this, just to make sure you get that justice, but you're definitely going to get justice. That's ending your reading. Beautiful energy. All right. Okay, we have, y'all know I can't read, so I'm going to show y'all this. Okay. That's the name of the crystal, Virg. I'm, I'm going to try to pronounce it. It says Lumerian Quartz. Okay, it says, who needs it? Anyone in need of a vacation from their thoughts. We talked about your thoughts, Virg, so this is definitely your crystal. Where to put it? Lu uh, luminaries are like wands. Point them at the body parts, friends, and other crystals that you need more juice. So you're gonna get you're gonna get this crystal. All right, take it to work with you if you need if you need if you need to improve upon your career, upon a relationship. I see you thinking about this person nonstop. I, you can even point this at the person at the, at, a, at the port at the person's photo. Like take a photo of the person that you can't stop thinking about. Take this crystal and put it on there. All right, very interesting. Or if you at your job, all right, take the crystal to you to work and put it put it beside where you work. I'm going to read that again. It says, who needs it? Anyone in need of a vacation from their thoughts, all right? So, because I feel like you are pretty distracted by your thinking, okay? So, the crystal will help that. The, the crystal will help alleviate those reoccurring thoughts so that you can focus on your career, okay? It says, where to put it? Luminarians are like wands. Put them at, put them at body parts, friends, and other crystals that need more juice, all right? Now, we're going to focus on love. Okay, because you're obviously thinking about some. Let's get a love oracle card for you for the month of December. Your love life in a nutshell. Okay, your love life in a nutshell for the month of December, Virgo. It says, be aware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Yeah, so keep that in mind about the thinking. Somebody's projecting on you, Virgo, okay? But don't internalize those thoughts, all right? I feel like you're beautiful, okay? Just keep thinking positive about you, about what you're doing. Get the crystal as well, all right? So I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this helps you. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.